By the authority given in the statutes of the Open University, I declare this congregation open for the conferment and presentation of graduates. Distinguished guests, graduates and friends of the university, it's my privilege and absolute pleasure to welcome you all to the U Open University's first degree ceremonies being held in 2015. It's also my great pleasure to welcome our honorary graduate, Jennifer Dawson. We're absolutely delighted to honor you today. Each year, the Open University awards over 14,000 degrees, and throughout 2015, more than 7,000 of the graduates being presented for their qualifications at degree ceremonies, such as this today in London. These are being held in 13 different towns and cities throughout the UK, as well as in Dublin. It illustrates the incredible scale and scope and reach of the Open University. I hope it goes without saying that today is a very important occasion in all of the lives of you, the graduates, your families, big and small, I've seen some little ones, as well as the university staff who are here and who I hope you feel have helped and supported you. You might be forgiven for thinking that this is a serious and solemn occasion, but I have to tell you we will be very disappointed if anyone crosses the stage today to anything less than tumultuous applause, whooping, cheering, and hallelujahs. So bearing that in mind, why don't all the graduates stand up? Come on, graduates, stand up. Let's start today's ceremony by giving you a round of applause. You can sit down now. The <laughs> torch is over. First of many rounds of applause, I hope. That was very good. Good warm up. Today's ceremony is going to begin with the presentation of those graduates who've gained a higher degree and who've been able to attend today. They'll be presented by Mr. Matt Staples, the staff tutor in the Faculty of Social Sciences. We'll then see the award of the honorary degree to Ms. Jennifer Dawson. And Mr. Jeremy Roach, Dean and Director of Studies in the Faculty of Health and Social Care, will present Ms. Dawson, will sign the Honorary Graduates book, and then make a reply. Then we'll continue our presentation of graduates who've declined a first degree, and then to conclude the ceremony, I'll give a short address to all of you. So I now call upon Mr. Staples to present the higher degree graduates. Chancellor, I shall now present graduates who have gained higher degrees and have been able to attend here today. For the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, I present to you for a thesis entitled Tilling the Soil in Tanzania, What Do Emerging Eco Economies Have to Offer? Andre Agye Holmes. And for a thesis entitled Environmental Storytelling, Negotiating Travelling Norms in Post-Socialist Journalism, Pavel Antonov. <laughs> for the degree of Doctorate in Education, I present to you for a thesis entitled Curriculum Change and Pedagogy, a social socio-cultural theory investigation into the interpretations of how of the how science works curriculum by secondary school science teachers. Nukabile Nakala. <laughs> I present to you for the degree of Master of Arts in Art History. Caitlin Palmer. <laughs> Michelle Pocock. <laughs> Sv 
Svetlana Skinner. For the degree of Master of Arts in Childhood and Youth, I present Shahanaz Ara. Hashem Gitawe. Carol Gordon. <laughs> For the degree of Master of Arts in Education, I present Georgina Bridal. Dominique Cottrell. <laughs> Kate Mars Gant. Ali Rowe. Adele Shirley. Megan Woodward. For the degree of Master of Arts in Online and Distance Education, I present Tamsin Griffith. Eileen Mansfield. For the degree of Master of Business Administration, I present Mona El Ghazaleh. <laughs> Emile Figura. <laughs> Carla Hanna. Jonathan Hooker. <laughs> Saif Kalaf. <laughs> Richard Longman. Mercy Makova. <laughs> Stuart Melling. Jan Olivier. Sharon Ravenscroft. <laughs> Thomas Shatton. <laughs> Vasily Sitnikov. Thomas Strohmeyer.
for the degree of Master of Education, I present Celia Butler. Anne Christiansen. Mark Cullen. Joanna Gilbert. Anna Gozitz. Sinead Hickey. Ahmed Ishmael. Laura Pates. Zaham Sheikh. For the degree of Master of Science in Advanced Networking, I present Umberto Rampa. <laughs> For the degree of Master of Science in Advancing Healthcare Practice with Distinction, I present Karen Cairn Duff. For the degree of Master of Science in Advancing Healthcare Practice, I present Tracy Bateman. For the degree, <laughs> for the degree of Master of Science in Development Management, I present Sarah Cook. Sonia Hirzig. <laughs> Muna Mergani. <laughs> For the degree of Master of Science in Earth Science and Bachelor of Science with honours, I present James Clough. For the degree of Master of Science in Engineering, I present Suzanne Smith. And for the degree of Master of Science in Management and Software Projects, I present Anagiros Roussos. Chancellor, Pro Vice Chancellor, colleagues, graduates, and guests. Jennifer Dawson established the award winning company Rubies in the Rubble in 2011. This social venture, which makes the tastiest chutneys in the nicest possible way, tackles important issues in today's society, such as food waste, sustainability, and unemployment. After completing her master's degree in mathematics 
at the University of Edinburgh, Jenny moved to London to begin her career in hedge fund management. After two years, at the age of 25, she decided that she was young enough to try out something of her own, something that she was passionate about and to which she could give her all. And this she did. On visiting Spitalfields Food Market in early 2011, Jenny noticed that unsold fruit and vegetables were being thrown away. With this in mind, she took the decision to set up a project that could reduce the waste, and Rubies in the Rubble was born. The name echoes her concept for the brand, celebrating the innate beauty in everything and bringing value back to hidden or overlooked items. Each year, about 13,000 tonnes of fruit and vegetables are disposed of at New Spitalfields Market, although an estimated 60% is fit to eat. Rubies in the Rubble tackles this waste by creating a cooking community that makes tasty jams and chutneys, offering voluntary and employment opportunities to vulnerable women living in East London. It is also a safe place for them to share experiences, gain skills, and to meet new people. Rubies and the Rubble's weekly production of 200 jars are sold at the popular Borough Market in London, where the project was launched, and at Spitalfields, which provides direct access to goods for production. In early 2012, Jenny was named as one of Britain's 50 new radicals by The Observer and Nesta, formerly the National Endowment for Science, Technology and the Arts, an independent innovation charity that works to bring great ideas to fruition. Rubies in the Rubble has won countless prizes, such as Ben and Jerry's 2012 Sustainable Business Competition and the 2013 Good Housekeeping Food Hero Award. Its products have been met with critical acclaim as reviews by the BBC, The Guardian, The Observer, The Independent and The Sunday Times show. Indeed, the chutneys were even declared delicious by the Queen. <coughs> Jenny's creativity allowed her to spot a unique opportunity that chimes with several values of the Open University. We work to open up opportunities to all, especially to those who may not have had the same chances or privileges as others. Jenny has done this by employing a number of vulnerable women, enabling them to gain skills and to achieve their potential. She has displayed an innovative approach to sustainability, something that the Open University takes seriously through its commitment to reducing landfill waste and increasing recycling. Jenny has made an exceptional contribution to these fields, and we are delighted to honour her achievements here today. Chancellor, Pro Vice Chancellor, by the authority of the Senate, I present to you for the honorary degree of Master of the University, Jennifer Dawson.
Thank you very much. Um, it's such a privilege and an honor to be here today. Um, thank you for, for having me on such a special day for so many of you. And I'm, I'm really proud to be part of it and knowing how much hard work, determination, I'm sure you've all got your own personal stories and things that you've sacrificed. And I hope that you're all really savoring the moment um, and congratulating yourselves and, and knowing what an achievement you've, you've had today. I feel like I've had a really um, hard, <laughs> long learning process in the last three to four years of starting Rubies in the Rubble. Um, and it's been such a privilege to be running something and, um, and working towards something that I'm so passionate about. Rubies in the Rubble has made huge changes in the last um, year and a half from the market that Jeremy was referring to um, so kindly and when we had our kitchen there. We outgrew our kitchen in 2014 um, and have now moved down to Devon with all of our production. Uh, we now are making around 1,500 jars a day. Um, we're selling in 200 stores around the UK, um, including Waitrose and Ocado and uh, Fortnum and Masons and Selfridges. And we've just signed up with a, a large sandwich chain um, to do their chutneys and their sandwiches, and now looking into new products and snacks. But really, um, the biggest change is actually starting to focus fully on food waste. And food waste doesn't sound a very sexy or appealing um, topic to most people, but for me, it's, it's my biggest passion. Um, I really believe that we have the resources on this planet to feed everyone, and um, we've got around a third of the world's that, uh, food that's produced being thrown away today, whilst one billion people go to bed hungry. Um, there's so many issues and problems with solving this, um, this conundrum, but for me to change people's um, attitudes and consumers' de demands on the food market is, is one key area to look at it. And now we're starting to look at the developing countries as well and how we can reduce food waste and increase yields in farmers' crops. And I've been really privileged this last year to go along to um, some, some debates, including Davos, which is the World Economic Forum, and, and hearing um, and speaking there but hearing with world leaders that are really excited and passionate that, that hunger can be eradicated um, in the next 15 years and, and that food waste plays such an important role in that. Uh, and I hope that my brand can continue to grow and, and launch into a range of different products and carry a message. But it, it, it's truly been a real privilege for me to be running Rubies in the Rubble and doing something that I, I really dream um, dream about and, and love and I've got so much passion for it. It makes it easy to work. And so I really encourage you all, um, having taken such a plunge and a step to actually start your course, and it's always obviously something that you've been passionate about and you've, you've started this learning process, but to continue and, and wonder what the next adventure is. Um, because life's too short to, to do something, to sit in a hedge fund when you've never read the FT before. Um, you should be doing something that you, you love and that you're truly passionate about and you want to spend your time doing it. Um, and I really believe that everyone's successful and, and you, you can truly make a difference when you've got the passion and drive and want to put the hours in. Um, so I congratulate you once again and I'm really excited for your future and the next steps. Thank you. Chancellor, we now come to the part of today's ceremony that marks the presentation of graduates who have gained the first degree and have been able to attend here today. The full subject and classification details are printed in the Directory of Graduates. I present to you, for the degree of Bachelor of Arts with First Class Honours, Viola Augustine. Fiona Cartwright. <laughs> Ms.
Madeleine Chorna. Graham Henderson. Eduardo Mai. Layla Melling. Adam Morris. James Taylor. Julie Vine. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts with honours, I present Marios Avram. Nigel Bain. <laughs> Maria Bassett. <laughs> Laura Bates. Karen Billiard. <laughs> Tina Biondini. <laughs> Angelique Boristerio. Sally Brett. <laughs> Paul Brewer. <laughs> Valentina Cassaroli. <laughs> David Chapman. Trudy Dawson. Mira Demeterova. Nicola Dillon. Diane Ellis. Anne Marie Francis. Darlington AK. Shulamis Ginsbury. <laughs> Simon Hamilton. <laughs> Pamela Hammond. Kathleen Hanna. No! James Hardiman.
Karen Hines. Rachel Hood. Maria Iftikar. Philip Johnson. Athanasios Karagiorgios. Brendan Kelly. Nazira Kanam. Anna Kikut. Isla Lightfoot. Tuli Luskma. <laughs> Patricia Llewellyn Jones. <laughs> Terry Lysett. Cherie Markham. <laughs> Paul Mason. <laughs> Elaine McEnough. Victoria McCarthy. <laughs> Lydia Miller. <laughs> Jessica Moody. <laughs> Yvonne Nago. James Pakanowski. <laughs> Alana Pettet. <laughs> Carolina Price. Sabrina Roberts. <laughs> Daniel Rose. <laughs> Colette Short. Courtney Skeggs. Andrew Smith. John Stark. Jenny Starkey. <laughs> Ch 
Chad Sturk. <laughs> Emma Tiller. Alison Tilston. <laughs> Salma Ulla. <laughs> Tony Waring. Pamela Welford. <laughs> Christina Werner. <laughs> Anne Williams. Jeffrey Wooding. <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Arts, I present Mark Albert. Gabriel Camilleri. <laughs> Lubna El Ukili. <laughs> Megan Field. Iveta Jeskova. <laughs> Sweeney Madusha Pereira. <laughs> Beverly Morgan Plum. Dawn Notley. <laughs> Amanda Odell. Carolyn Perkins. <laughs> Duncan Schofield. <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Engineering with first class honours, I present Keith Batchelor. Robert Holly. <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Engineering with honours, I present Matthew Brindley. <laughs> William Haynes.
Roger Jones. John O'Reardon. Jeff Tasker. <laughs> Kim Tupper. <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Laws with First Class Honours, I present Jonna. Donna Chusky. <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Laws with Honours, I present Rebecca Finnimore. <laughs> Clint Fogelin. Saker Naeem. <laughs> Doug Poulton. Yes, yes. For the degree of Bachelor of Science with first class honours, I present. Anthony Beavis. <laughs> Emily Blakey. <laughs> Avigail Chook. Adrian Clargo. <laughs> Hannah Dornin. <laughs> Charlie Downing. Alexander Dury. <laughs> Joe Eason. <laughs> Jason Foster. Juanine Drutzner. <laughs> Cheryl Kidd. <laughs> Luke Miller. Roxanne Najulpa Kada Kaba <laughs> Martin Pierce <laughs> Robert Poole.
Samantha Shinner. Thanks, Hella Skeller. Sharon Stevens. Leanne Thomas. Jessica Witkowska. For the degree of Bachelor of Science with Honours, I present Shama Abbas. Jean Averibo. Yvette Ayers. <laughs> Ian Bancroft. <laughs> Amy Barge. Annabelle Bridgman. Christine Brown. Christopher Burr. Pauline Burrell. Clinton Byrne. Rosie Kane. Sharon Carrick. <laughs> Paul Chaplin. <laughs> Sharmisa Chowdhury. Samana Chemjong. <laughs> Daga Chung. Aisha Chishti. Amanda Cook. Zeleny Cooper. Richard Cross. Chris Daniels. C. 
Simone Delimore. Anne Douglas. Anna Dronfield. Rashani Ahem Paradasan. Neil Elphinstone. Monica Vice. Alexander Filipovich. Amani Gabia Ali. Julie Garrington. <laughs> Anita Gashi. <laughs> Katerina Giolo. Troy Gunton. <laughs> Suraj Haji. <laughs> Susanna Hatlova. Deborah Hawkins. Vicky Hibbard. Sarah Hillier. Matthias Hoffman Wagenheim. <laughs> Jalanta Houghton. Sharita Holker Gordon. Marie Hull. Habibullah Janebda. Tanja Janic. <laughs> Sonia Jean Marie. <laughs> Borgia Jelic. Gordon Jennings. <laughs> Mabel Kaluba. <laughs> Sa
Sarah Kosh. Stephen Kinsman. Christina Kosyanova. Spiros Kostantis. Dimitri Kuzmins. Louis Kiriakou. Thomas Lee. Katayi Maruta. Esme Mashingadze. <laughs> Hannah Maxwell. <laughs> Susan Miles. Paul Milne. <laughs> Alison Milner. <laughs> Sebastian Mosny. Vivian Mwale. <laughs> Yanka Nixon. <laughs> Mervyn Norbert. Michelle Norris. <laughs> Ahad Nujirali. <laughs> Jennifer O'Shea. Michael O'Keefe. <laughs> Dolores O'Reilly. <laughs> Patricia O'Kerry. Lucy Parker. <laughs> Derek Pearsall. Laura Patu. <laughs> Sarah, 
Sofia Petrova Kaleva. Maureen Prendergast Rathor. Kathy Pristram. Victoria Richmond. Jennifer Robbins. Marcin Ribakowski. Ross Gillen Saunders. Denny Shaw. Claire Simmons. Lydia Simplicio. David Spence. Jill Stania. Judy Ann Stanton. Roberta Storty. Nigel Summers. <laughs> David Thorndike. <laughs> Janice Villadar. Richard Vincent. Paul Vingo. Amy Walshaw. Bolanye Moroniki. <laughs> Monica Wentowska. <laughs> Friday Okochi. For the degree of Bachelor of Science, I present Habiba Ali. <laughs> Tracy Atmore. Diane Bassavaraj. <laughs> Howard Dayton. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Yuan Yuan Guan. Matthew Jones. <laughs> Ellen Machin. Andrea Mancuso. <laughs> Kate McKnight. <laughs> Sharon Peppard. Nicola Roberts. Agnes Zizeba. <laughs> Christine Witcherly. <laughs> Nathan Winter. For a foundation degree, I present Marilia Gomez. <laughs> William Kidwata. <laughs> Anthony Newman. Jasmine Wood. <laughs> and for the Diploma of Higher Education, I present Edward Asafo Ajay. <laughs> Caroline Bish. Jisa Nadaraja. So thank you everyone, members of the Senate, staff and of course the graduates. This is a very special day, one to remember for the rest of your lives. 
And I have to tell you a secret. It's one I'm going to remember too, because this is the first ceremony that I've done as Chancellor of the Open University. So I'm sorry if I'm... No, no, I didn't mean that. No, I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that. No, 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 no. That was not what I meant. I just meant I'm sorry if I got it a bit wrong. I'll get better. Um, but I loved it, and you are all so inspiring. So we're quite rightly celebrating all of the amazing qualifications that you got. And you may not know, but since the Open University was started, actually half a million people have completed degrees since the first ceremony in 1973. Thank you. There was an honorary doctorate given last year to Sebastian Barry, the Irish uh, writer, and he said that he felt honoured to be a citizen of the great, benign country of the imagination that is the Open University. The country of the imagination. What a fantastic way to give a tribute to this amazing institution. So now you're part of this too. So look around you, take a breath, say well done to yourself, because you really have done something quite remarkable. And not only I and all the people in the Open University, but all the people here to support you are very, very proud of you. Everybody's unique, but I think the people who do an Open University degree are particularly impressive because you're often doing a lot of other things in your lives as well. Nine children, 15 years old, goodness knows what else has been going on with all the people that I've just met this morning. So you've joined a very exclusive group of people and you should be very proud of yourselves. It's a mark of quality being a member of the Open University and a graduate shows that you've learned from the academics who are leaders in their fields, some of them who are here today on the stage. From people who've been part of the exploration of the surface of the comets, to those who advise government on the balance between security and privacy when we use the internet. They're thought leaders and they contribute to your qualifications, making your qualification a massively high standard. And don't forget, it's a big asset on your CV. To be successful at the OU, you need lots of motivation, you need to be disciplined, you need resilience. When I think about my own time at university, where I seem to spend a lot of time just lying down eating crisps, I'm amazed that any of you, while holding down jobs and doing other things, can manage to complete a degree. So it's a real sign that you're an incredibly disciplined and clever person. And did you know that there are over 30,000 businesses and organisations in the UK that use the Open University to train their staff. Amazon, Royal Mail, IBM, and they all actively seek OU graduates. So I'm sure that just through sheer ambition, as well as what you've achieved, you're all going to find incredible new careers or the first step on that career ladder. So something to be very, very proud of and something that I hope will stand you in good stead. Something that shows you're resilient and that you persevere against the odds. I know that many of you completed your degrees while holding down many other jobs, looking after your families. So many of you just said this was to my mum, this was to my wife, to my husband, to my children. That support network that you have is quite impressive. Most people complete their courses over six years. One woman told me she completed it in four, which must be nearly a world record. And some people take much longer but that's no judgment on anything. It's incredible just to have achieved it. And I know, based on everything you told me, that part of how you managed to do it was the support networks that you had. So I, and I know everyone on the stage, would like to give a special round of applause to all your families, all your friends, and all of the people that made sure that you got up here, got that degree, and kept going. Well done. <laughs> Well done, family. I'm just going to remind you a little bit about some of the amazing things that the OU is doing itself. In 2014, we won a national award for the Open Science Laboratory, an online resource enabling students to undertake science fieldwork remotely. The Open University Business School was shortlisted for the Times Business School of the Year, and for the second year running, our MBA program was celebrating 25 years old. In 2013, we became the first university to bring over 40 other universities together to provide a massive open online course, or a MOOC as they're called. 
And since then, one million learners from 190 countries from around the world have registered more than 2.3 million free courses. Go and have a look at Future Learn if you haven't. It's really fantastic and trailblazing. And last year, the results of the UK exercise to assess the university research showed that nearly three quarters of the Open University's research was four or three stars, the highest rating available. So that means that we're world leading and excellent for impact, quality and the environment. These results really show that you have completed a degree from one of the best universities in the world. I'm sure none of you were watching TV while you were doing your studies because you were all far too busy. But if you had been, then you'd have noticed that we've got a brilliant partnership with the BBC and we contribute to programmes like Frozen Planet, Coast, Thinking Aloud and Inside the Commons. Every year, our TV programmes are watched on average about 220 million times. Definitely wasn't you lot, you were far too busy. And there are almost 500,000 adults in the UK log in online to look at the materials from come out of those programmes. So, wow, well done you. You're part of a university that's a world leader in technology, in innovation, and in helping people to learn. You've got all the credentials from a university that has the highest reputation. But I just want to give you one final nudge into the world. Look at the motto, where is it behind us? Learn and live. I know that certainly some of the biggest joys in my life are when I discover new things from an endless curiosity about what's happening in the world. If I could have had my way, I'd have had a five minute chat with all of you on the stage, but I think your families might have got a bit bored. But please take that motto to heart. Learn and live. Put your qualification to good use. Give something back. Don't just think of today as the end of this journey. It's just the beginning. You've got a certificate, but use it. Use it to create real change in the world. Arguably, we really need your skills right now. I met so many people on the stage who've done health and social care, psychology, life sciences, humanities, all the subjects that we need to make sure we have the brightest future. You've got that ability. You've now got a stamp to show it. So go on, go out and change the world. But most of all, stay in touch because we'd love to hear from you and we want to know how you got on. So now, just one last time, but I want it to be the biggest, the most noisy, even more than any time that this stage is full of musicians. One more big whooping cheer for all the graduates today. Not a bad one. Um, I can't judge because it's my first ceremony, but I think that's a pretty high benchmark. Just leaves me to say congratulations. We're immensely proud of you. Have a fantastic rest of your day. So I declare the proceedings of the ceremony completed and at the meeting, the congregation is closed. Please will you stand for the recession?